What is going on YouTube? It is your boy VSAT back in today's video i just want to give my thoughts and opinions on the reveal of call of duty world war 2 uh particularly call of duty zombies nazi zombies as we know it and uh black ops 3 dlc 5 now in videos like this i typically have a bad tendency to go on a long tangent uh so i don't want to do that i want to keep this video kind of short and precise although you guys know me if you watch the streams that i can Pretty much talk forever and forever so we're gonna try and keep this short and simple a lot of questions that i've been getting in my streams are basically the same things and it's what do you think about the lc5 what do you think about world war ii and particularly call of duty nazi zombies in cod world war ii so starting off with call of duty world war ii and just mainly the nazi zombies part um i am very intrigued i am interested and i'm intrigued one thing that they continue to say when describing it was they made it sound very story based and if you've been playing call of duty zombies for as long as i have or as a lot of us have um call of duty world at war it started off basically just as an arcade experience and then from there we started getting like these little tidbits of information like easter eggs and and the characters and then it became like this whole zombie storyline but how it started off really was just it was an arcade game mode and you would basically just play with your friends or play solo and see how many rounds you can get and that was it it was all fun it was all arcade and to me that's what i enjoyed most about call of duty zombies the easter eggs are fine uh but i just feel like especially with black ops 3 it just became so easter egg driven that it became a fault of what the actual core game mode was um where when sledgehammer games was talking about it it, it the way they were talking about it what made it seem like the way i wanted black ops 3 to be if you're gonna go in such a story driven narrative for cod zombies which is fine and dandy just drop the rounds the rounds is an arcade experience to me that you want to just survive and stuff if you're introducing these easter eggs and stories i feel like rounds are just a damper on that uh so one thing that i really feel honestly that they're gonna do with this game mode is i feel like it's gonna be like almost like like uh left for dead-esque if you guys ever played left for dead um um, where it's not going to be round based and you're going to basically be traveling around the map. It's almost going to be very story like and I think it's going to be very cool. Um, a thought that I have in a little early prediction that I'll have is that's what it's going to be. Uh, there's going to be no rounds and it's going to be story based. But my prediction is once you beat that first map, you will unlock a round based mode for it so i think they'll have that and i think they'll have the round based mode this is very early predictions not based on obviously like tons of information that we can kind of decipher at this point um but i'm gonna set my my opinion right now it is april 29th when i'm recording this video that that is my prediction i think it's gonna be non-round based it's gonna be like almost like left for dead and then once you beat that, then you'll have a traditional uh, round base kind of mode. And I think that's going to be exactly what the DLCs will be. Like I said, it's April 29th. As we continue to get more information and see more things, I can obviously update, not this video, but make another video and, and kind of go off there. Um, another thing that I find really interesting about this Nazi Zombies World War II is they keep describing it um, as in they, as in Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry, who are the main heads at Sledgehammer Games, almost like David Von der Hart is to Treyarch. Uh, they kept describing it as a harder experience. Now, for people that don't know and are, are unfamiliar, Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry both worked at Visceral Games, which was under EA, which created Dead Space which is revered as arguably the greatest survival horror game of all time and undoubtedly uh really between dead space and outlast are, are typically the top and you got like resident evil in there but dead space is undoubtedly a an amazing experience now they didn't actually create the sequels which actually got worse uh ea kind of milked that cash cow and kind of ruined the series but dead space one is a masterpiece like if you never played that you should play it because it's actually really scary um, but one thing that I find so intriguing is they keep that's what they keep saying if you look at the quotes They keep saying this is their first horror game in a long time and Dead Space is really scary the thought of and, 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 like you got to play the game to know but it's very claustrophobic it's very dark there's like like jump scares but not really jump scares it's like the game is just genuinely scary and I'm like Wow, could you imagine if that's COD Zombies? Could you imagine if you're going through like this little corridor and it's like really dark, your flashlight goes out and you got zombies jumping out at you? Not like the prototypical where it's not really that scary. I would say some maps are scarier than others, like Five and Brock, but could you imagine if that's what like the story experience is, is? Is like a horror experience? And then like I said, then you can maybe unlock a round experience, which would please everybody. Um, I don't know, man. I, I find that really, really really interesting with that stuff so 
That was a little bit of tidbit of information that I saw when I was actually looking up uh, some things about this video and what I wanted to know more about COD Zombies was I didn't even realize that, that those guys worked for Visceral Games, which created Dead Space. So I really think that's interesting. I think you could take a lot based off the quotes and the phrases and how they're describing the game. Um, so that is really my thoughts about World War II Zombies. Like I said, I want to keep this video short and precise. We're going to talk about the DLC 5 now. But if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments if it's whether questions of how i feel about other stuff maybe the multi whatever it is even the zombies i'll create another video i just want to try and create this make this video as short and simple as possible i don't want to talk your guys ear off for 20 30 minutes which you guys know i can um and then my thoughts about dlc5 with black ops 3 is as a stream as a content creator it's phenomenal it's really good it'll bring back the zombie community for sure and it would be fun to play some new zombie content until world war ii honestly uh but in the long run i don't think it's the best thing for it one thing that these cod devs keep saying is how difficult it is to remaster these maps uh, a lot of people think it's just super easy uh and they made it very clear they talked about it even when recreating the giant all they really have is the blueprint everything else is built from the bottom up it's not like a, a click and drag and then they can you know what i mean they're good to go and they can just enhance the graphics they actually build this from the bottom up um and the reason why in the long run i don't like it is it takes a lot of resources just to be able to do this like you got to realize they're working on their next game already you know sledgehammers do up next and then right after that treyarch treyarch's really in full-blown development right now for their next game which i don't want to look too far ahead obviously because i'm really stoked about the next game and treyarch is really letting me down especially with black ops 3 but honestly it just in the short term, it's great and phenomenal, and I'm really excited as a content creator. But just as a fan of, like, Call of Duty and Zombies, I just don't want to see them waste time on this. It doesn't mean necessarily that their next game, Black Ops 4, or probably a new IP uh, that they'll start creating, which is what I assume it would be. Um, it doesn't mean that it's not going to be good, obviously, the next game, just because they're doing this, but... I don't know. Maybe they have other guys for Treyarch working on it, and they, you know what I mean? Like, maybe there's another studio kind of like how, um, I can't remember the name of the studio. Raven made Modern Warfare Remastered. Maybe it's something along those lines, and that would be really cool. Um, because I, I just don't, I, like I said, as a content creator, so excited. The views should be awesome for Twitch and YouTube, which is really awesome, and it's gonna be fun. You know what I mean? Even though, honestly, um, I, I don't like the Black Ops 3 engine all that much. That's another big downside is I prefer the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombie engines opposed to Black Ops 3. I don't like the way the zombie movement works. I don't like the way the double pack punch works. There's a lot of issues that I have with BO3 compared to BO1 and BO2. Um, it looks like DLC 5 is real, by the way. I never buy into all this hype and, and all this mystery stuff. Although I would say that by the look of it, DLC 5 does seem like it exists. Um, so, like I said, I'm happy as a content creator. In the long term, I'm, I'm sad as a fan just because I want to see... I want to see Call of Duty be as great as it was back in the day when it was really hitting its peak, like 2010, 2011, 2012, when it was really striding, you know what I mean? Um, where now, obviously, we've hit kind of a, a more lower point in recent years, but I really think with the hype of World War II and everything behind it, it should be really, really, really excellent. Um, like I said, guys, I didn't want to talk your guys' ear off on this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys have any questions... Uh, about whether it's World War II or DLC 5, I will go totally more. So please, please, please leave a comment down below if that's what you want. I have no problem at all. I just want to keep this video a little bit short and concise. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you guys have a great day and a great night. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.